Hey there everybody, welcome back to MB Reads. I am once again Eric Newman and today I am talking about a new book. This is a book that is a little bit dearer to my heart than uh, some of the other books I've talked about because the book we're talking about today is my book. Sadly, I can't show you the cover on it like I normally do poorly on my Kindle because I'm technically inept and there's probably a better way of doing this stuff, but I still haven't picked up any video editing skills someday, you know, dreams. But the book, I put a book out on the Kindle store last Friday. Friday, actually. It is called Two Weeks in Japan, a Memoir by Eric Newman, of course. And it is a pretty much blow-by-blow -blow account of a trip I took to Japan back in 2019. And I actually wrote this back in 2019. Just at the time I wrote it, it was really more of a reminder for myself. I had been getting back into the writing a lot in that year, like I'd had more time for writing than I'd had in a while, and I actually really got into it there for a bit until, once again, work got in the way, and I just didn't really get anything done with it for a while. There's a fly. Anyway, but uh, I wrote it back in 2019. It was really rough. Uh, some people, my mom especially, kept saying, oh, you should publish that, you should publish that, and I, I knew it really, in the form I had it at the time, it definitely wasn't ready for publication, and I just had other projects that I was working on and more passionate about, but with recently finding myself separated from work for the first time in a while, I it was a good starting point, I thought. It's like it's something that I already had finished, so I just needed to go through and make it more readable, uh, kind of fix some stuff, make it a little bit less of a personal reminder, and more just a memoir. And so that's what it is. It, it's a memoir. It is an account of a trip that I took. It is not a travel guide. It is not intended as such. But I will say that just the way, you know, some part of me liking to talk about my travels to Japan, there's always, I always have like some little tips in there. Like some of the, I think reading through it, you can, there's some little tips you can pick up that might be handy in planning a trip while, you know, some places to stay at, you know, there's definitely some recommendations of that. Uh, the Hotel Okra in Kobe is a standout there, although I guess I should preface all of this with part of the reason why I went ahead and pub put that memoir out and published it is because there's a chance that, I mean, it's been two years. It's been over two years since you've been able to travel to Japan like I did in 2019. I actually went again in 2020, February of 2020, and they have been locked down since about two weeks after I got back from that trip. Uh, they, yeah, they closed Japan down to foreign tourists in March of 2020, and they still haven't opened up. They are opening up again in June, but that will be for 50 tourists from four different countries. And you have to be part of like a 10 person tour group. So basically it's like five organized 10 person tour groups with dedicated guides and completely planned out itineraries will be the only people they are allowing into Japan in June. You know, aside from some student and business travelers and of course Japanese nationals that might be living abroad trying to come back. Those people can travel, but just being a tourist like, I want to go visit Japan, you, it, it's, you can't do it right now, 
and it will still it's looking like it's still going to be extremely difficult to pull off for a while to come there's just a lot of kind of really kind of anti-foreigner sentiment in certain parts of the government and there's just a lot of people over there that are still very worried about the pandemic i mean and having been over there i can kind of understand that but i'm getting a little, well on topic but further away from what we really need to be talking about which is the book i just put out it's only 2.99 and it's available on ku so you know, if you want to pick up a copy, or five, uh, I mean, I don't know if I'd necessarily recommend reading it. Uh, it's, it's okay. I spent a lot of time with it over the course of like a week and a half before I accidentally actually hit publish. And I will also, I guess, go ahead and full disclosure say that I wasn't 100% ready to publish it when I published it uh, and that goes back to I was trying to figure out the process you know get a better idea of what I needed to do to it before I actually did publish it and just I spent a couple hours you know messing around with that trying to get stuff figured out and by the time I kind of you know was figuring out what I was doing I, I just did publish I got caught up in the moment and uh, it does not have a copyright page so I guess yeah if you want to rip it off and try to pass it off as your own work you could probably pull that off I wouldn't recommend it I mean you know there, there's levels of hackery and I guess there are levels of hackery that go beyond what I am willing to do so there is that I will but you know I don't know that you're gonna make money doing that so yeah but uh, then uh, it also does not have an about the author page and there's some issues with the headings that I couldn't figure out how to fix and uh, so that being said I kind of sort of feel like I should go back and fix it but with the fact that with sales sitting at where it is now probably not gonna happen I, I just I think my time can be spent trying to do other things I guess the experience of going through and fixing a already published you know version of the book has its merits and I don't know if it sells 30 or 40 copies then hey yeah I'll go back and do that and maybe it'll sell more you know maybe people will be a little more satisfied with what they got but as it is, I think, you know, like five, four or five of my family and friends threw me a bone and bought it. And that, I think that's about it. So I, I don't think it has any reviews or ratings. So, I mean, it's, you know, not doing well. But it hasn't quite been a week yet. Who knows? But if you want to throw somebody trying to get some things started a bone, pick up a copy of my book I would greatly appreciate it and uh, another thing you can do is keep watching the channel subscribe to some more videos uh, or subscribe to the channel watch some more videos like some videos share them with some friends that might actually be interested in listening to me babble about independent books and whatnot uh, I guess I could have talked about my book more other than just being bad. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I feel like I said what I mean. It's, it's not bad. I mean, who is it really for? I think it's for somebody that's sitting around right now that's like, man, I really want to go to Japan. But they can't. Well, it's my experience, but still it kind of gives you a little bit of the experience of taking a trip to japan it's maybe not the best presented and it's maybe not even the best present you know best experience I, it was one of my better it was one of the ones i liked more i felt like it was actually a pretty good one uh and 
I went to a lot of different places, a lot of different things, and I think I talked about them fairly well. You know, gave you some ideas and stuff. Uh, so I, I think it has merit. I'm not trying to say it's like the greatest thing ever, but it's not terrible. You know, it's it's okay, and I don't know. Give it a shot. Read it. Tell me what you think. I mean, I wrote it, so. I obviously see every flaw that it has. It's my nature. Kind of like I don't really watch all of these videos <laughs> when I do them. I just kind of check it out a little bit and it's like, okay, looks good, volume's okay, okay, yeah, go with it. Uh, so, yeah, but uh, I think I've babbled on enough about that. Uh, keeping it kind of short. I had to turn off the AC, my fan, so it's Texas, it's like 90 something degrees, and it's start, I'm starting to, it's getting hot in here. Uh, so we're keeping this video short, getting it up there, but uh, thanks for watching, and keep watching. I keep promising to do more content lately, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Two videos in two weeks, we're getting there. We're getting there but no seriously uh, I actually have some stuff I'm probably gonna start doing this a little bit more frequently I just needed to get a audio visual setup that worked for me better than what I've been doing off and on and I think I finally found a sweet spot so yes I hope to have more content coming in a more regular fashion in uh, the week, you know, days and weeks to come. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. You have a pleasant afternoon.